Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Anyways, today in this video, I wanted to share with you all uh, my go-tos of January and December because these products that I'm going to be sharing with you all today are some products that I've been using a lot and that I have not stopped using because I just really, really love them. So if you guys are interested, then just stay tuned and please, 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 please subscribe if you like my videos. Leave me any comments of um, any suggestions, uh, maybe some stuff you think I could be doing better or um, video uh, suggestions on any videos that you want me to do or anything like that. Leave me a comment or um, just whatever you want. Um, and if you're interested, just keep watching. I'm going to be starting off with uh, my favorite foundation that I picked up at Walmart. Of course, it is a drugstore foundation. I have not been crazy about um, high-end foundations uh, just yet, but it's still drugstore. So um, I'm going to be sharing with you guys this foundation that I picked up not too long ago, maybe like two months ago, and I've been trying it out, and I've been um, saving it because I wanted to test it out before I talked about it. And it's this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I'm in the shade uh, 305. It's the foundation I am wearing today. By the way, most of the products I'm going to be showing you all are products that I'm wearing today just because um, I figured why not since they are my favorites of the month. So it is this Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. It is um, for, mine is for, um, well it says it's for fresh complexion. I can't even like, I can't even rant. How do I? I can't even, like, I don't even know where to start off with this foundation. It looks kind of cheap. I don't know, because you're not really used to seeing foundation in these little containers. But, um, let me just tell you, it comes, it, I feel like it does full coverage. Like, it covers everything. I don't feel like you have to keep adding and adding and adding on to, um, get to where you want to be. And it is very, very, very lightweight. Like, it definitely feels like you're not wearing anything at all. And, um... Well, I guess since my skin is not that oily, you really don't need, I really don't need to set it with any powder, but I still do. I just have to every single time. But this foundation is just freaking awesome, and it's not even that expensive. I think it's only like, actually, I don't even remember if it's no more than $10, but it's freaking gorgeous. And um, I'm in golden tan, just in case anybody is wondering. I freaking love it. And to go along with it, since it was right there next to it, I also got the concealer. It is also Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. I'm not sure what shade this is. Oh my god, I can't. I'm not wearing my glasses and I'm freaking blind. I think this is medium deep. I don't know. It's way too freaking small. I don't even think it'll like. I, it won't focus. But, anyways, um. I got both of these. I am wearing both of them today. Very freaking lightweight. Easy to work with. It sets in quickly, but it does the job. Both of these, my go-tos for like the whole freaking month of January and December. It's almost out and I will repurchase this, pro this project, this product. So for the eyebrows, I've also moved away from the Milani eyebrow kit. Uh, but I still do use it a lot. But only, only when I don't want too much of dramatic eyebrows. Today I am wearing my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Auburn that I, I don't know, I don't remember if I did a video on this or not, but I did. Um, I've been using it quite a lot just because it is very well, um, very easy to use. As you can see, I've almost gone through the whole entire little container. I will also be repurchasing this because freaking amazing. I mean, I see why everybody was ranting about it. Um... Although I did buy the Anastasia brush, I have the smaller one. As you all can see, I've used it quite a bit, but I just don't like it. I mean, I don't know. I need to go back and get the bigger one. I don't like the smaller one. My eyebrows are way too thick for this. So in the meantime, I've been using the EO2 for um, the EO2 brow brush. And this is from the Flower Cosmetics. I freaking love this brush. I use this brush so many more times over this one. I don't know. This was like $18 gone to waste. And this was only maybe like $10. I don't know. It was way cheaper. But I love how it works so much more. And as you can see, the little... It's so much more bigger than this one. I, I don't know. I'm freaking stupid. I don't know why what I was thinking getting the smaller one. 
But um, I guess I will go back and get the thicker, the fuller one. Or I don't even know why I'm going to go back and get it. Like, I'm perfectly fine with my Flower Cosmetics thick one from Walmart also, just in case anybody is wondering. So yeah, that's what I've been doing my eyebrows with. Um, it's what I did my eyebrows with today. I don't know. Um, it's easier, I guess. The pomade stuff is easier to use than... Um, well, actually, I don't know if it's easier or not. It's actually, it's it gives you much a much more cleaner look, especially if you're going to go back and clean with a concealer, which, by the way, for my eyebrows, I use this freaking heavy-duty Glamouflage concealer that I think I've already showed in another one of my videos. But I do go and I clean my eyebrows with this, and it does leave you very... Well, this color, I'm in the color... I think this is, like, light. Yeah, it is a medium light, and it's it's too white for me, so I just clean it, but then I go back with my foundation. I do my eyebrows before my foundation, so uh, when I do go around and give myself a cleaner look, I then go and blend out uh, the concealer with my foundation because this is way too light for my skin tone. You know, I'm sure some of you guys know what that looks like. But yeah, that's what I've been doing my eyebrows with lately. Uh, just in case any of you guys are interested, I probably should do like an updated eyebrow routine because the last time I did an eyebrow tutorial, I was using the liquid liner from Maybelline, which is still kind of like the same thing, but it, there is a difference. If you guys want me to do a video on that, just let me know and um, I'll consider it. Who am I kidding? I'll do a video. For lipsticks, today I am wearing one of my obsessions. I showed you guys a picture yesterday and it is of course milani i have not moved away from milani they're just getting better and better like their makeup their makeup line is just getting better and better like their blushes their eyeliner their eyeshadows their lipsticks which by the way i also shared a, a picture of their matte lipsticks that i have not gotten my hands on yet just because i don't think they sell them in stores yet i think it's just all online i'm too iffy about getting stuff online most of the time but um anyway my favorite one right now from Milani is Teddy Bear, as you all can see. Um, it, I'm just going to show you on the back of my hand, but I have like my foundation here. I'll just do it anyways. So this is what it looks like. I don't know. The camera will pick up the color. It is a freaking gorgeous like brown. But at the same time, I don't know. I kind of see it like grayish. Like the undertone is like gray. I don't know. Maybe I'm just colorblind. But you all can see it's freaking it's a nude brown but um i've been seeing a lot of girls instagram youtube a lot of girls who are using the brown and i if you know how to like wear it right it just looks gorgeous i don't know i just i'm in love with it and then another one that i picked up this one is from mac i'm sure most of you already know this is rebel which is very very similar to the sangria one from the milani line like honestly i don't even know I'm just going to go ahead and show you all. Let me go get it. Okay, so um, this one right here, that's the, that's the Rebel from MAC. And I would have to say it comes very, very close to... Um, like, wow. This is such an incredible dupe for it. You would think that I just swapped the same lipstick, but no. This right here is actually Uptown Mauve from Milani. This is the Rebel from MAC. There is like definitely no difference in that. I mean, I don't even know. And then the price comparison, it's freaking like, where did it go? Look at that. It looks like it would be different, but it comes off literally the same way. $5.18, $5.18. You guys tell me, I don't know. Uh, these Milani ones, blah, blah. these Milani ones last a long, 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 long time. The Smack one also, but come on, five eighteen, really? You guys tell me, like, there's hardly no difference there. I don't know. I mean, sangria. I don't know. They're they're all like pretty close this is a sangria one from milani all pretty much the same i don't like i guess this one kind of looks a little bit more like rebel but also five dollars show you all 
the difference just so you all don't think I'm swapping the same one um look here the rebel this is sangria I mean I guess this one looks more like the rebel than uptown mauve mauve I guess I'm saying it right I don't know but just look at the freaking similarity I mean I don't know it's crazy uh, Milani ones smell better but yeah that was my favorite going back to um teddy bear from Milani <sighs> smells so freaking delicious I probably own like the whole freaking collection by now they're just I mean every single time I go into Walmart I go and pick up the one I don't have just because I know I'm not gonna be upset because I know how good they freaking are but yeah just in case you guys wanted to see again also, another one of my favorites, I probably should have showed this when I was doing the eyebrow stuff, is the Salon Perfect Brow Sculpting Gel. Um, again, a lot has changed since the time that I showed you guys how I did my eyebrows. I wasn't wearing, I wasn't using a gel just because, I don't know, I guess I figured. But um, I really like how this one works. This is only maybe, this actually this came with a brow kit that I bought from Salon Perfect. It came with it and i just been using it. The whole kit was like maybe six dollars i have it but i just don't have it here with me and i'm too lazy to go get it but i'm sure you guys have seen it it's by the salon perfect i've been using it i like to set my eyebrows with it i just feel it does make a difference it makes them lift up stay in place you know maybe if you added too much product it kind of like you know minimizes it and makes them look a little more natural and i as you can see i've been using this quite a lot and it's just clear brow gel looks just like that Last but not least, I wanted to share with you all this gorgeous, like freaking gorgeous blush. Also from Milani, you guys guessed it. Um, it is called Rose Dioro, number two. And I just love it because it's the, like the perfect pink. And not only is it pink, it also kind of has like highlighter, which today I'm not only wearing this, I'm also wearing... Um, also, this I, I messed up. This is not actually the last product I wanted to show you all. Um, this highlighter from NARS. Oh my god. Freaking amazing. This little thing was 30 bucks, but I'm telling you all, it's well worth the 30 bucks. Um, that's what I'm wearing today. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm kind of sitting like by the window. I don't know if you guys can hear like my mom's leaf blowing out there. But um, I'm wearing these two together today. This one, I would say, you don't even have to wear highlighter. Just the blush itself is freaking gorgeous. I love it because it looks like it would be super pink, but it's not. It gives you, like, this, like, I don't know what you would call that color right there. But it's it's amazing. It has its highlighter in itself. I definitely have to say it has, like, a gold highlighter. Uh, this NARS one, it's called Albatross. Freaking gorgeous pigmented I went into Sephora and I was looking for something that wasn't too um, pigmented but something that you could tell you know it's this natural lighting kind of sucks you can't even really tell but I'm showing you guys I don't know I love it I don't I don't know if you guys can see it kind of sort of I don't know I'm wearing it you can see it on my face definitely here on my cheekbones it's freaking amazing i know i keep looking at myself but um this was worth 30 bucks i really recommend it it's called albatross if any of y'all are interested and it's from nars but yeah and um i wanted to share with you all the brush that i've been using to apply my um foundation well that foundation i don't use the same foundation brush for um all my foundations because i have a lot and so i don't like to mix it just so that i can tell how well the product is working and this is just a little stippling brush from elf really does the job if you um know how to use it right you know this is only like three dollars maybe less and i got mine at target um just in case any of y'all are wondering Anyways, these are all my January 2014 products of the month. Um, all drugstore products besides the highlighter that I showed you guys from NARS that you can get that you can get at Sephora. I hope everyone has a good day. If you like this video, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!